Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Lozzy and today I'm going to be explaining to you why I hate, 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 a bit of a strong word, hate key changes in music. Despise them. Now I can guarantee 10 seconds into the video you've already said, Lozzy, what's going on? What are you talking about? What's a key change? Full disclosure, I'm not a music theory, you know, expert. I'm really not. And I'll briefly explain to you as best as I can what key change is. If I'm honest, you probably know what they are subconsciously because there's a lot of famous songs that have used the key change very effectively. So chances are you will actually know what I'm talking about, just not what it was called. Now here's the uh, educational part. A key change is used normally in pop music for uh, to emphasize one part of the song specifically to make it stand out from the rest most likely the last chorus to really give you that like uplifting feel like an epic feel just notice the battery's gone down to red it was on full literally five minutes ago now there's many famous examples of, of key changes like i said mostly used in pop music and the king of pop himself although he's gone for a bit of a beating recently michael jackson man in the mirror one of the most noticeable key changes you're ever gonna see if you wanna make the world a better place take a look at yourself then you've got the classic Whitney Houston. And lastly, for the examples, I'm going to give you Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. see that and you know you may look at them and, and wonder why why am I making such a big deal of this come on Lozzie you're being a fucking prick just hang on hang on right everyone's got their own preference to music all right individuality diversity and all that bollocks I just don't like it I really don't like it and I find it annoying I find it annoying there's for me they're totally unnecessary there are artists and songs that do it that are less abrupt and less offensive to me but overall I just feel like it doesn't add anything to a song it takes me out of the the experience of the song I mean I mean whatever happened to just putting a double chorus on the end no I'm not I don't want to go too heavy into like music structure and because I'm not even that fucking clued up on it, but I just don't find it to move me in the way that does other people. Like I said, it was mostly based on pop music and it was kind of used to show off, to a certain extent, the, the vocal range uh, and the ability of the singer overall, because there are a handful of singers that can pull these sorts of things off. Now it's kind of a two for this one, because at the same time you want to show off the singer's ability, but you also want to make the song epic. At the end, you really want people to notice and remember the song for this sort of reason the subconsciously you're gonna remember it because of fuck me that last chorus was just oh, there's something different about it do you see what I mean by you notice this but you're not really too sure what you've noticed you know there's a difference but you don't understand why just listen to what I'm saying I don't like key changes they take me out of the song my immersion is totally broken when that happens because I just don't like it I don't like the way it sounds I think it's unneeded, it's quite cheesy and quite corny because I'm not a ballad man, okay? And it seems to be most pop ballads and, and some rock ballads are kind of like, they have to shoehorn in a key change. It's just not for me. I don't know what you guys think. If you like key changes, let me know down in the comments. If you still don't understand what a key change is, I totally understand. I'm not that good at explaining it. I've kind of wanted to do a kind of video on this to kind of test the waters to see how it does. Okay, because this, this video could bomb, not all, oh, that's probably the wrong word. Yeah, not do so good. I mean, if you want me to do more videos like this, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Do, do, do me a solid, all right, and subscribe. Cheers. Like, share, be sure to have pressed or clicked the subscribe button. And you can turn notifications on if you wish. Just a quick video to, just to spout my fucking hatred for key changes in music. And hopefully, even if I've just educated one person on this, it's a victory for me. I've been Lozzy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.